And then we got, an, I think this is going to be the male quarters. So I think we're going to have Harry and Grant's side of things. Baba had a lung that was covered Hello? in fat. Father had a tongue that was also black. Is anyone there? They didn't care for us. We didn't care for them. And so it happened again and again. Skin like a crocodile and eyes like sin. The RG consumed them from within. Oh, that's a turn of phrase said by a creepy child. Oh, boy. Uh, was that over the radio or in my head? Another gruesome victim of the indiscriminate slaughter. This one has a strangely wistful look on his face, as if it were imagining an escape into the cheery landscape on the walls. Hmm. <sighs> All right, so this is Grant. Oh, and he's the janitor. No, what's worse than being a janitor? Being a space janitor. The shit I literally have to put up with is unbelievable. I mean it. My job is to control the recycling of methane expulsion from human waste. Shitty is an understatement. Plus, I can barely understand my coworker. I think he's Polish, but he only speaks Spanish. Isabella has been talking to me. Oh, she doesn't have any ideas. Really not into that. Even if she was a guy, she's so difficult to deal with. I think she purposefully leaves some shadow of doubt that she might have some feelings for Harry. So that'll, so that he'll hang around. Poor guy's obsessed. It's creepy. But it's also the teensiest bit sweet. I think Jupiter is finally done growing. She was such a cute little kitten. Now she's big and doesn't cuddle anymore. Harry's allergic. Thinks that I keep Jupiter around just to mess with him. Or really, I don't. She gets in the way sometimes, but she's the only living thing that really understands me. Love that little kitten. Big kitten. Aww, he has a kitty. I don't know how he got the kitty on the space station. Isabel has smacked Harry straight across the face today. I think he called her a pet name to her face. I would have been flattered. Poor guy. Everything's so uneventful around here. Maybe that's a good thing. Been trying to talk to Isabella to see if she's interested in Harry. I don't think so. But I want to make sure. It helped me sleep a little better. Interdepartmental pool to win 64 days of leave? What a joke. Kitchen security and maintenance aren't even eligible. When they're the ones that keep the ship running. Oh, wait. I guess that makes sense. His fungus shit is everywhere. It's already in the methane conduction plant. Shelby's such a cow. She says she hopes it'll give me cancer. That way, I could start over with my new organs, courtesy of Kane Corp. Of course. Told her that there was only one organ I really wanted, but that Harry was too busy following Isabella. Ooh. There's only one organ I really wanted, but Harry was... He... Oh, damn. He, want, he, wants, he wants Harry... He wants that D. Sheesh! Shelby said, oh, it takes... Oh, it all makes sense now. You go, girl. But I'm not a girl. Could have been worse. I just hope she can keep a secret. I don't want anyone involved in my business. This mushroom plan that hydroponics came up with is not working. If anything, it made life in the plant just a little more, bit more grueling. The other thing complaining to me about weird smells coming from the vents. I swear, it's not the plant. I can smell it too. Emergency rations. Suck some food to Jupiter first. She was acting a little loopy. I know it's just today that Harry has the most adorable way of stuff in his face. He always inspects whatever he's about to eat before he takes a bite, then shoves as much in his mouth as he can. Ah, the simple things. Powers out and places around the ship. Hopefully the plant isn't next. That sure went in well. I haven't seen Jupiter since the Tremors. Don't only really make assumptions. Oh god, I hope she's safe. I don't want Harry to get hurt in all this either. He's such a little guy. Been following Isabella around to get closer to Harry and make sure he's okay. I don't know what's going on, but suddenly it doesn't matter whether or not he even he could ever care about me. Those guys who went on work on Station B haven't come back yet. Been trying to sleep as much as I can now that I can stay on my toes when everything goes to hell. Cried a little as well. Partly because of Jupiter and 
Partly for reasons I don't understand. I don't want to burden Harry by telling him about how I feel. I know we'll just confuse and upset him. I'm really hopeful that we'll all make it out of here, but Shelby's pessimism is contagious. I don't know. Will I ever have another chance to open my heart to someone? I'll have to hope so. I just can't tell Harry. Aww. That's such a sad, like, love triangle of misunderstandings going on. Now the question is, what are things from Harry's point of view? And did Harry actually pine after, uh, um, the other guy? I'll never get used to this. Oh. This is she's fine, but I'm going. No, that's not a good voice. What, 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 what's a hairy voice? I don't. Want, I don't want to do like a, a a gravelly one. I feel like I've done like the twangy bit too often. I don't know. Maybe just more of a normal. Bella says she's fine, but I'm. I'm gonna keep an eye on her. I had a nightmare that Belle killed herself, but checked on her just to be sure. Hope I didn't wake her. Grant wouldn't have checked on her. That dick doesn't know how to care for a lady. Not a lady like Belle. Sure, nobody catches me growing these herbs. This face is so empty and cold, and Belle seems like she needs the comfort. I don't care if I get caught. But if I did get caught, Belle would know that I'd truly do anything for her. Nope. Nope, Harry. Nope. Nope, Harry's awful. Belle seems super frustrated today. I stopped asking her what was wrong. She got really mad at me the other day when I did that. I feel like I'm making her angrier every time I speak to her. She's upset and I can't do anything about it. She spoke to me today. So glad everything's okay. I lost so much sleep over her last night. She only knew. She'd feel so special. Grant keeps bringing his goddamn cat into the sleeping block. I'm allergic and he knows it. I shouldn't need a shot of epinephrine every time I go to bed. He thinks he's so badass because he managed to sneak a cat on board. Belle probably thinks he's so cool. Why can't she see that he's a total dick? I decided to stay on the Groom Lake so that I can be with Belle. I don't like it here, but I love her. Some guy in engineering says there's a fungus on the ship. I wonder if it's poisonous. If it is, I bet I could hijack a lifeboat to fly Belle home. The fungi is all over in hydroponics. I have an idea though. What if we engineer another invasive fungus to take out that alien one? I honestly don't think it'll work. I suggested it as a joke at first, but Belle thought it was a great idea, so now we have to do it. Grant's been following Belle and I everywhere. I know she thinks she can, I, he can keep her safe, but I know he can't. He's so full of himself. I think Grant's cat died during the tremors and the chaos. Good fucking riddance. Guy's been sobbing for almost a day now. Maybe Belle would understand that he's not fit to protect her. Wow, Harry, you... On the list of the, pers the shitty personnel rankings, you are doing a... You're doing a fucking swan dive. I think I'd die for Belle. It's been pretty much established that something's running around and killing people. I'm gonna fight it when I see it. It'll only get to, it'll only get to Belle over my dead body. And she'll die knowing that I gave my life. Just to tack a couple of seconds onto hers. Harry on that white night juice. Something hard. What was that? We got linen bed sheet. All right. Is there anything with these papers? Countless abandoned photographs of families and loved ones are strewn across the floor. Fucking What is this? Oh, right. There was I was like, "What?" What's with this construction of all the sleeping cots? But I'm like, oh wait, right, there was the whole, like, crash that probably reorganized things. Alright, so we got that linen sheet. Um, can we go down there? Yale old linen sheet. Grapple thing? Okay. Now let's see what I can do. 
All right, all right. Climb down to the lower deck. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah shit! We're in the shit now. Uh, okay. Oh, this is awful. Damn it. How the hell am I gonna get back up? God, John, you're gonna get yourself killed. That's the best part, you don't. This is all new to me. The path of these pipe The path of these ducks forms a wave that runs along the top of this unnavigable thicket of tubes. Well, Hmm. And that is awful. I've had to. I've had to. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Raven the sewers, baby. Fucking just jamming now. We even got a party skeleton over here. Hell yeah. Ns. <laughs> Why am I walking backwards? Your skin looks dissolved. Your bug suit should protect you from any harmful chemicals. For a short while at least. But wait, our head went underwater. Um are we gonna be okay? Um, ow. Um, hold on. Let me put, uh, uh, potential, potential flashing lights warning. I don't know. I didn't know that was coming up. Uh, and let me just, like, Just let me make a message that I'll just pin. A little bit late, but better better existing than never. Alright, um where's the thing? Ah, uh, if I can use my toolbar. Alright. Uh, where the fuck are we? There I am. Neville Chambers? Oh wait, never mind. I thought that was a Harry Potter reference. I'm like, hmm. Play the game. Hollow Q. Free game coupon. Let's see. I can't believe I'm actually in space! I know that a whole lot of people have been here, but you really don't appreciate the cosmos until you see it from beyond Earth's atmosphere. It's not something to be taken for granted. I hope this is just the beginning of a long journey for me. I can just live in the void for eternity. Oh, I would give anything. I don't miss Earth at all. Unbelievably, the gazes of passing asteroids are less cold than most humans. It's amazing to see all the constellations up close and personal. I started writing a comic about myself, The Space Adventure. Although I've just been sweeping and dusting on the Groom Lake, I know it's my key to becoming one with the cosmos. My comic book is coming along nicely. I've decided that I'm not going to make myself a superhero, but I'll lead a team of super geniuses, and we'll use the powers of the universe to save it. My sidekick is Carl Sagan. Einstein pilots the, Brit the Bride Pond, that's my awesome shit, and Hawking crushes stuff with his cybernetic limbs. Issue 1 done. I mean, you know, 
you gotta spend time somehow, so a self-insert fanfic is hardly the worst of uh, passing of times. Despite what I've been through, I still love space. I've seen enough movies to know how this is going to end for me. Wish my comic books hadn't been lost in the Tremors. They were pretty much my final testament. I even fished you to issue 6. We destroy a race of parasitic squid-like guys. Except we keep one as a pet and train it to fight for us. It also bites Einstein, who gets a cool scar as a result. Anyway, it's too late for that. I'm going to spend my final days taking in the universe through any window I can find. Peace out, universe. Good for you, I guess, Neville. Bucket of Mud. That's certainly a name. Maybe if it... No. No, that won't work. Give me a sig! Alright, shaking three times didn't work. been skinned oh well I'm a vegetarian fucking no why what is stealing the flesh uh Stacy Dipnar Tammy and I had a great evening together this mystery alcohol is pretty much a miracle. I mean, my throat burned terribly, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god. I thought I was literally going to starve. This stupid fungus crap ruined all the food. We finally got a delivery, and it was great to eat something. New food isn't as good as that food Hydro makes, though. I wonder if Kane Corp would let me volunteer for Project Seed. Surely they give you some great benefits for volunteering. You just have to be- you just have to have been pregnant before, I think. Do abortions disqualify you? I'll look into it. Oh! Oh, I- I do not like this even more. Oh, this is awful. I don't like this. I don't like this qualifier for Project C. No, 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 I don't like where this is going. Nope, they need volunteers who have actually birthed a baby. Or miscarried late in pregnancy. You also have to be 18 years old for whatever reason. How'd Kane know I was 17 anyway? I thought those documents looked darn realistic. Oh well, guess I didn't want a bunch of experiments on me anyway. I'm literally freaking out. The groom lake just went like boom, and then stuff started falling and shaking. I almost got a fork stuck in my neck. Jeb got caught under a bed. Now I feel bad for calling him a creepy old man all the time. I had a good idea. I said that we should use the tubes that we send the experiments through to get people to medical, because the trams are broken. Everyone loves me now. Tammy is going to help. She's so brave sometimes. I'd go too, but she said not to. She's kind of like a mom to me, but she says that'd be weird because we're best friends. Tammy's not back yet. I don't know what to do. If I never had the stupid idea, she'd be okay. It's my fault. Robin says it's not my fault, but I know it is. I'm just so stupid and useless, like I was at home. I don't even have a home. All I do is hurt people. I wanted them to get me. I killed Tammy. It's now my turn. Zane ca carried me to the recreation area. I kicked and screamed as loud as I could, but he dragged me in anyway. Wish I could be a good person like him. I'm useless. I think I'll sit by the door so they get me first. Maybe I could buy everyone else a second or two. Aww. I mean, she's kind of dumb, but... Man... That's still pretty sad. I see a light over here. Ooh, a pool cue. A seductive dancer sways her hips to a silent tune. I don't know, the tune's not very silent. We're kind of wub wubbing here. Gain Corporation Lighter. 
Alright. Can I interact with the hologram? This looks like a recent addition. <laughs> I just kinda added it in. Um I can't see it working like that. How do I why can't I go through the door? Do I need to go back in the sewers? Is there another exit? I can use the lighter or pool cue. Maybe I can use the pool cue? No. Game wants you back in the stinky juice. I think it does. Do I need to like use the lighter on that smell? Maybe if it No, no, that won't work. Wait, can I go down? It looks like it's clickable. Oh, I thought this was... Alright, I'm dumb. I thought this was like a wall that was impassable. The hole! It was made for me! John longs for the pipe. Methane gas tank. Hmm. Pump station diagram. Uh, can I not get up? Alright. Um, let me... Should I copy the diagram? I don't... I don't know if I can get up there and interact with it. Let me just, uh, so we got full of water, we've got empty water, we have the line going across, we have up arrow, down arrow, down arrow, left arrow, Right arrow, left arrow. And see the lights are going to all of the top ones. For the bottom ones we have... Down... Up... I'm thinking, I'm thinking what it's basically showing is that you have to reverse all the symbols and it will drain the water. Because, you know, up, down, down, up, down, and that kind of looks like up. So even though these three are missing, uh, I think if we, if we need to, like, drain, I think we can manage it. All right, what do we got? Jeez. What the fuck was that? Oh, it ran the way I have to go. Oh, <gasps> Kitty! Oh, the cat's alive! Protect us, Kipti. Aww. Gipti. Gipti, Gipti. I won't hurt you. Oh. The meow. Yeah, I know. 
I bet it's I bet it's hissing at a monster. I bet it's I'm gonna take another few steps to this intersection and there's gonna be something that drops down. No kitty! I can't believe that just happened. Why did you give me achievement for Cardell? Nope. Hold on. I have nope, I have to see if we can save the cat. Hold on. Hold on. I I will reload and save the cat. No, I'm not looking about sepsis in cats. No, I don't want a video essay on stasis. No. There is not a way to save the cat. That makes it extra mean that it gives me an achievement for, for the cat dying. I'm coming for you, Kipti. No. Oh. Fucking mean, man. Why would you do that? Monsters can't harm you or me. Also, I kind of one. Let me make sure I'm not crazy. Yeah, because they did, we didn't have one minor complaint. I kind of wish we would have subtitles for the creepy song things, because sometimes it's a little hard for me to make out what they're saying. Zane Adams. Every single day, Grant brings his poor little cat to the plant. I swear to God, he's gonna die of methane inhalation. Did a number on my ankle. Doctors all need to keep any weight off it for a few days. Hope Grant can pick up the slack for me. Some of the idiots think the fungus is spreading through the groom lake was caused by aliens. The place is disgusting, so of course it's gonna be overrun with mold. You guys try to get tram station B repaired. Bar to go in hell, but I don't know shit about trams or stations. But anyway, they haven't come back. Yeah, so everyone's more than a little word. Guys in sleeping block B are absolutely fucked. Reasonably sure that we're next. Stacy almost didn't make it in. Poor girl's too young for this. It's a funny thought. Who is old enough for this? Who reaches a point in their life where they figure they're ready to be ripped apart by God knows what? You know, Zane? That is pretty profound. Oh, a loading scene. We're going to an entirely new area then. This is the elevator to the annex. Can you climb it? No. It's just the shaft. I can't see an entrance. Here. Methane is explosive, right? Highly. Why would there be methane tanks under the crew quarters? Kane doesn't care about safety. They're driven by profit. <laughs> yeah, we just put the methane tanks right below where the crew sleeps. I'm sure it's fine. I think that'll just break it. Yeah, I know it'll break it. That's the point. Like that, like that, uh, like that sig, bruv. Alright. Um. Up, down, down. Left. Right, left. there's something wrong with the release valves?
All right, let's try the other configuration we saw. So it's down, up, down. So that should be right, left, right. You gonna make me brute force this? Uh, uh, uh. Also, these three are green and these three are white. What's the difference? What am I missing? Oh. I have to be missing something. Let's check the diagram again. Sounds like Mario. Yeah. Boop, boop. 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 Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, that looks like a down, up, up. And then I mean, it's not like there's a lot of different configurations from that. Down, up, up, right, left, right. Didn't I do that? I feel fucking crazy. I feel so fucking crazy. We need to climb down and light up this methane, baby. You said it's been three months since all of this happened. Wait, hold on, dialogue. Shouldn't there be a rescue mission on the way? This is a deep space vessel. It can operate indefinitely. If it wasn't for the psychological effects of deep space travel, she wouldn't even need a new crew. So nobody's looking for us. No, and even if they were, there's no way for them to find us. Three months is a long time adrift. Yay, the cold void of space with no hope of rescue. Uh... <laughs> oh, another death for the pile, baby. <laughs> I thought it would be immediate, so that's why I was like, wait, wait, what? Shouldn't there be a rescue mission on the way? This is a deep space vessel. It can operate indefinitely. If it wasn't for the psychological effects of deep space travel, she wouldn't even need a new crew. So nobody's looking for us. Three months is a 
All right, I think it's just a timer. I thought I needed to like use the pool cue to trigger it. I think I put the lighter there and then I just have to book it away. It's certainly a shoddy lighter. It's been three months since all of this happened. Shouldn't there be a rescue mission on the way? This is a deep space vessel. It can operate in depth. Run, John, run! If it wasn't for the psychological effects of deep space travel, she wouldn't even need a new crew. So nobody's looking for us. No, and even if they were, there's no way for them to find us. Three months is a long time adrift. Wait, it didn't explode. Okay, maybe I do have to interact with it, but... Pipe grip holding a lighter. Can I activate it with the pool cue from here? Yeah! Why are there methane tanks under the crew quarters? That is a mouthful of an achievement. Also, it's kind of weird how we seem to be getting achievements just for any kind of progress. Considering these kinds of games are fairly linear. Linear. Li linear? Linear. <laughs> Not even singed, baby. First try. I can get back up to the crew quarters. All right. Um, so we did all that. I think we fixed this. We blew up the methane. Wait, hold on. The crew quarters. Different crew quarters. Ram station? So we caused that explosion. Is it... No, that's security office. I'm wondering, hold on. I hate that we have to go a very roundabout way to get back to the, um, what is that metallic scraping? I don't like that. Um, I just had an idea because it mentioned the the dancer in the entertainment block was added to it. I'm wondering if I can unscrew it and take it with us because then we could maybe set it up at the door that does the motion scanning and then we can get through that area. It is unfortunate we have to take such a roundabout path just to get back to entertainment because of the locked door. So if I am wrong about this, fuck. <laughs> What? This is a useful drill.
Oh, you think your internet went out with a second? Whoops. Fuck yes! I'm sad that I didn't think about this um, when we were first here, so a little bit of a lost time. But now we can go through that other door. Because I don't think blowing up that methane tank... I don't think the methane is... I don't think that was the source of the thing that killed us when we opened that other door. Because that other door was like a corrosive gas. So... I'm wondering if we're going to get like a helmet to go with our plug suit. And we run, 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 all the way back to the hub. It's almost like Rain World, because we're going through all these pipes. Just, the pipes are bigger than humans. And full of stinky. Exactly. And boy, is it fucking stinky. Uh, I don't know if you've ever messed with uh, septic systems, but they are not pleasant. Alright, so we want to set up the hologram in front of the motion detector. And now we can have the motion detector see her schmoving. Life support. Atmospherics. I can understand why they had all the extra security. All right, I think uh, we're done with that. So that was a one use. Ooh, we now have Ronald. This it? Could have really been my golden. <clears throat> Is this it? Could this really be my golden opportunity? I've been transferred to security with a guy named Paul and some other guy whose name I don't quite remember. Then I kind of like Sarge, so I'm just gonna call him Sarge. Either way, I'm glad. Maybe I'll finally make real friends. Meanwhile, his PDA has what I can only assume are tickets to a strip club. Which makes it extra ironic that we used uh, the dancer hologram to get in here. Paul is mean, but Sarge is okay. It looks like food supplies aren't coming in anytime soon. People seem upset, but that's a lot of alcohol around. I don't drink much because my dad used to, and it got scary sometimes. Sarge is still nice when he's drunk, though. Even though he said he, I'd make a pretty girl. Um, the titty twister. <laughs> Yeah, I think it is. One and only. <laughs> we got a mystery package from Cloning Vats today. I was even allowed to type the terminal entry. It's supposed to go to Lab 18. Sarge says we're going to put it in a medical storage bay for now, though. It makes really scary noises. It's named Samantha. I liked a girl named Samantha once, but then this guy, Anthony, was stalking her, and then she moved away. Paul just read that over my shoulder and reminded me that the PDAs are for work-related logs only. I don't like Paul. Sarge said I could type whatever I want. The whole ship just shook a whole lot. Power is out everywhere. Everything is locked down, but we can get through some of it because we're security. Hope nobody got hurt when things were flying around in here. People are trying to get to Transstation B to work because A is closed. I think we killed some people today. Sarge is angry. He's beating on the window. I'm so confused. Poor Ronald. He seems just like a simple innocent bean. Some of them are just fucking kids.
gets to you. Don't you think I know that? You've only been awake a few hours now. I've been dealing with this for, for it seems like, a lifetime. Oh, that's grim. We better not be trapped in a loop. Oh god, we better not be trapped in a loop. Did it say his age? Okay, no. But considering Stacy was like 17, hmm. That atmosphere. Atmosphere method in tram station B. Alright, so I think it's now going to be safe for us. Yep. Don't see anything deadly over there anymore. Alright. Now we head on over. We're making progress. We're making progress through the spooky space station. Control override. Ah. Game. All right, let's do this. Uh, hold on. Can I reload? The right before. Hold on. Oh, maybe these are just my save files. These are just save files. I see. Let's just save. For a second there, I thought the game crashed. I think I somehow accidentally clicked outside the window. That's another thing. I do like the borderless, but it is a bit too borderless. Hey, I said she located your daughter on medical so she should be. Ah, thank you. I mean, obviously, it being linear, we'll muddle our way to it. Hmm. You know what? Let's, uh, this feels like it's going to be complicated for the minute. Let's check this ominous bloody hallway first. I'm sure everything is going to be very fine. Tia, the tram is not operational. What do you mean? Can you fix it? No. No, I don't think so. There is no other way out of there. She is fucked. Look around. Fuck, this is all falling apart. Tia, I'm afraid she is gone. Booked. We request your cooperation by supporting Kane security officials in a positive manner. Oh, we found Roger. Hey, and we have a little like picture of him. Hmm. This one was for hydroponics. Medical bay. This is it. Alright, can I, like, take that? I don't think this will fit. Project Seed. What? Oh, nothing. Just reading out loud. She knows what Project Seed is. Hmm... I'm thinking she didn't always work at hydroponics. Project Kitchen Knife. Limb regeneration. All right. We need to get the medical bay one. Oh! Oh! I see. 
Wrong button. So wait, I think we need to clear out the current. Let, let me let me double check this one. So this is where we need to go. We draw it. So medical is kind of a down U. We got this fucking thing. Got like a square thing. Then we got one that's like boom, like big blocky chunky bits with a thin line and then another big chalky chunky block bit little like lip um i think there's an already loaded one uh game mouse disappeared all right that's kind of weird um, I think there's one already loaded, and we need to send it off to its proper destination. I just don't remember. What if we just send it to medical and see if see what happens? So let's see. We need the U. Not that one, that one, and then... No... 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 There we go, medical bay. Okay, and then I climb in. This is either brilliant or very, very stupid. I'm gonna say both. All right, hopefully we're fine. Good thing this thing has no windows, so we're not seeing this. I will say the like little movie things in this game have been pretty not permitted in specimen storage. pretty fantastic quarantine procedures initiated quantum storage device reset okay. they took my drill this definitely looks like the medical facilities i think i'm on the right track yeah you're on the medical bay level one your daughter is four decks below you. She is so close, John. So close. All right, so what's the over-under that I'm not actually headed to my daughter, I'm actually headed to something else she wants me to get to? Also, I just realized, so our, this thing's a quantum storage, so the things inside of it don't exist physically until I remove them? So the robot can reformat it, but then what happens to the object? Are, does, does it just manifest elsewhere? Like, wh what happened? Oh, so that's how you get away with having no pockets? Yeah, yeah, we have, we have an in-game explanation for our protagonist's pocket. We have a little we have a little dual disc of holding right here. <laughs> um, all right. We got some machinery over here. Just shut down terminals. Medical places, always the best places to be in uh, horror games. This is strange. I'm not reading any PDTs in your area. They should remain active. Tell me, John, why are you working with this jackal? Dr. Milan. Ah. Ooh. She's been talking about me. Look, I'm nobody. 
I just want to find my family. Without a family, man alone in the world. The impulse with the cold. Are you trembling, John? Because make no mistake. You are alone. That's not good. What did he say? He knew me. He knew my name. Could he help us? John, this is happening because of him. Why did those guns come out? This is all too much for me to. I'm just a school teacher. I can promise you that I want to find your family as much as you do. We're in this together. Ominous portents. All right, so gun emplacements. <laughs> uh, all right, I had to collect that death first. Ah, shit, wait, is it going to replay the whole cutscene? No. Alright, sorry about that. That's my fault. No. 